Hello everybody! So many things to get to before I even get to listening to Sia. Just a friendly reminder, you should watch every single video I make because you never know what I'm gonna say. First and foremost, if you missed the news that I shared with you yesterday morning first, it is now official and confirmed Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez are, I think, back together, but Justin Bieber's ex, Selena Gomez, I had a brain fart. Selena Gomez and The Weeknd are done, officially confirmed through Finit Over. I've got all the details on the real reasons for the split, allegedly, as they want us to believe, on PerezHilton.com right now. Also, breaking news, there will not be any more seasons of House of Cards after this one. The sixth season will be the last one. And that's that. <laughs> Two stories dominating entertainment news. All right, if you guys missed the announcement, Sia has a Christmas album that's coming out. And because I didn't feel motivated enough to get my Christmas crap out of storage yet, I figured I would wear a tiara to celebrate instead. Um, okay, Sia, Christmas album. An unusual move, I thought, but I'm open. Let's see how it pans out. Um, I love Sia. I love her voice. She's an amazing songwriter. I think it's all original music. That's what's um, that's what's peculiar. Like it's not like she's doing covers. Covers has an appeal. An album of entire original Christmas songs. I'm not so sure. Let me confirm that. Let me read the press release. Yeah. Yeah, every single song, I think, is an original song. She recently wrote. Yeah. So, um, the official first single for Sia's Christmas album. Is the lighting good here? Am I? There we go. Is it better? Anyways, let's listen to this. Sia, it's called Santa's Coming For Us. Sounds like a Sia song. There's nothing very Christmassy about it. I mean, lyrically, she's talking about Christmas crap. Oh, okay. The production got a little Christmassy now. I'm hearing some sleigh bells. Up tempo y. Cute. It feels very young. Like, this would have been great for Justin Bieber's Mistletoe album. I mean, I love her voice, though, so I'll listen to the whole album. This feels very soulless, though. And I think I could hear that in her voice. Like, I don't quite get this whole project. Oh, Santa's coming for us. I don't hear any sirens. <laughs> I'm bored of this song. This is by far 
some of her best work not. <laughs> I don't get this. Oh, damn it. I hit the button. <laughs> this is like my sweet spot. I need to make all my videos here. I mean, this would be fun for drag queens. Like, this would be fun at, you know, the gay club for drag queens to perform. But I don't think I'll be enjoying this at home. I don't know why also, but I love my Christmas music to be depressing. Not all of it. I mean, I clearly love Mariah's All I Want for Christmas is You. But this is so falsely chipper. This, this is like, ooh, it's Christmas! when you're not ready for it to be Christmas. Like, it's not even Halloween yet. I'm not into it. I don't know. I was really disappointed. I love Sia, but I was expecting more. Sarah McLaughlin's done some great original Christmas songs. This is not one of them. <sighs> I don't even wanna to listen to that again. Once was enough. Hopefully the other songs are better and more diverse. Yeah. And I'm sure there's an audience for it. I love Sia. Thanks to streaming, I can now stream the whole thing without having to pay for it. I pay my 10 bucks a month and I'm covered. So that's that. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, hit share. Leave a comment and uh, you know what to do. Follow me if you're not following me already. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, so, I mean, it is a little catchy, but not her best. It's not, I, I'm disappointed. I was disappointed. Why am I still going? <laughs> I was disappointed, but it's not an awful song, okay? It's not bad. <laughs> Mwah!